Hello and welcome to Pavli. So today in this video, we are going to learn how you can get the correct amount of payment when you capture a new payment response from Razorpay. So a lot of users were facing issues that when they capture the webhook response of a new payment from Razorpay, the amount of the payment is quite an incorrect. So in this video, we are going to see how you can capture the correct amount. On my screen, you can see I've created a workflow. In this workflow, I have selected Razorpay as a trigger application and payment captured as a trigger event. Then we got this webhook URL and I have added this webhook URL in my Razorpay account as you can see. Now after this, we are just going to capture a response of a new payment on our public connect workflow. So I will just go to my Razorpay account and go to this payment page section. Let's go to payment pages. And here we are going to make a test payment. I have this payment page of PHP programming course. Let's take an example of this payment page. I'll just copy the link and paste it in a new tab. So this is the payment page and the amount of payment is 203 rupees and 71 paisa. Now here guys, intentionally I have selected this odd amount of the payment as well. Now let's enter the details of a user. For example, demo user, this is the name. The, we are making a test payment over here, pablitudes.com. And this is a dummy mobile number. Let's click on pay. And the payment is done. Just now we have received a new payment on our Razor Pay payment page. Using the test mode, we just made a test payment. And we have connected our Razor Pay account with Pabli Connect in the trigger window. And now you can see that in this trigger window, we have received the response of the payment. Now here guys, when we get this response of a new payment inside Pabli Connect, you can see we have received the details of the customer who made the payment. We have the phone number, name, email address, and all the other details. But when we will check the response of the amount, so we will just scroll down and search for the response for the amount of the payment. And here it is. You can see this response of the amount is 20,371. So on our payment page, we made a payment of 203 rupees and 71 paisa. But the response for the amount which we have received inside Pabli Connect is showing us 20,371. So basically, while sending the response or the details of a new payment, Razorpay has eliminated this decimal from here. It does not support the decimal value. That's why it has eliminated the decimal and we have received the complete amount of the payment as well. That too without the decimal value over here. So in this way, we get this type of amount from Razorpay. Now what we have to do? To get the correct amount of the payment, you just have to divide this whole response or whole amount of payment by 100. So we will be using a feature, a module of Public Connect that is called Number Formatter to do this. We will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in Choose App, we are going to search for Number Formatter over here. After selecting Number Formatter by Pavli, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as Perform Math Operation and then just click on Connect. After clicking on connect, here in this field of numbers, we have to basically map the response of amount which we have received from Razorpay. So this is the response of amount which we have received and let's map this response over here. Just click on this field and from the drop down from Razorpay responses, select this response of amount. And here it is. After mapping the amount, just add a comma and write 100 over here. So because we want to divide this whole response of amount by 100, so we have added a comma and mentioned 100. And after doing this in operation from this drop down, select divide over here and click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see this math operation is performed and this whole response of amount is divided by 100 over here. So in the response, you can see we have received a response of 203.71. And this is the exact same. This is the correct amount of payment for which the customer made the payment. We have received the payment from Razorpay. So in this way, by dividing the response of the amount which we have received from Razorpay by 100, we can get the correct amount of the payment which we have received on our payment page. So this was the complete guide guys on how you can get the correct amount of payment for the incoming payments which you are receiving on your Razorpay account inside Public Connect. Now, after getting this correct response of payment, you can actually map this value of amount, this response from number formatter anywhere in any action step you want further. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.